Dylan here. Time for game collection update for June 2011. I mean 2012. Fuck. Oh, you might realize that my hair is shorter. So, yeah. So this is everything I picked up. It's like uh, 31 games or something. I told you I didn't pick up really anything this month until the last like couple days. Um, like the only things I did were like these four games here and this right here. But, um, yeah, this is what I picked up. Uh, so yeah, I'll start off with this. This is actually a pickup from last month. Um, and I actually even mentioned it. I said that like I picked uh, something else up, but I just didn't want to show it um, until next month. So I'm going to show it now. Um, a friend of mine was selling some games. He wanted five bucks a piece. And um, yeah, I wanted to buy one of them. And after I said that, he said that he'll give me, give me all of them for $10. So... Um, I said, would you take eight? He took eight, so I got five games, actually. Here's only four. The reason why is um, one of the games I got was a duplicate. It was um, the greatest game ever, Madden 08 for 360, but his copy was like, extremely beat up and stuff like that, so this is like all my copies. So yeah, I picked up these games. Um, pretty much ended up being two bucks a piece. Um, this one not really that great for two bucks, but whatever. Um, Fight Night 2004. They're all complete. So um, Project Gotham Racing 4 for 360. Um, great game. It's um, really sad that Bizarre Creations actually closed down, but um, they made great games. So, so. Um, then after that, got. MX versus ATV Untamed. Complete. Um, tells you, I, I popped this in, and it's not that great of a game. I mean, it's not a bad game, but it's really nothing that I'll go back to. But it's two bucks for a 360 game, whatever. And um, this is actually the game I was going to pay $5 for. But um, yeah, I ended up getting it for two. So whatever. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or TMNT. Um, main reason that I was going to pay that much for this game is because I actually used to own this game. Uh, this is actually one of the first 360 games I got with the, my console. Um, I picked it up because it looked cool. I saw gameplay and I, I played it. It's it's okay. It's pretty generic. I think most movie games are. Um, but it's a pretty basic beat-em-up. It's okay. Um, yeah, then the rest of this stuff, I mean, except for this, is from Plane Trade. Yeah, um, yeah, from Plane Trade, this is what I picked up. I finally got the Retron 3. Um, it was $60, which, um, I believe is what it normally goes for, but, um, I actually got a gift card, so I used that and ended up paying, like, $10 out of pocket, so I decided what the hell. Um, it has NES, Super Nintendo, and, uh, Genesis in it, in one, and stuff like that. Um, actually, this is the second one I got, because the first one I got was actually red, and, um, I plugged it in, um, and... I got the Super Nintendo part to work, but the other two parts wouldn't work, um, so I re exchanged it or, um, for this one, and this one works perfectly, so happy about that. Alright, um, now on to the games. You know me, like, uh, buy to get one, 10% off, so most of these were extremely cheap. Like, um, until I meant, unless I mention, like, unless I say a different price, like, all these were 60 cents a piece. These are all $1 games, and buy to get one 10% off equals 60%. I mean, 60 cents. Uh, got for Genesis a really beat up, loose copy of uh, Triple Score. Um, it has Super Hang On, World International Soccer, and Columns on it. Um, it's loose and it's extremely beat up, but I thought for 60 cents, like three games in one, might as well. And the pin pins actually look pretty good, so. I think the only one N64 game this month. Um, was it, uh, Fox Sports College Hoops 99. Uh, it has writing on it, but whatever. 60 cents. Game I didn't have. Picked up six Super Nintendo sports games. Yay. Uh, Super Action Play Football. NFL Quarterback Club 96. Uh, NHL Stanley Cup. NA NHPA Hockey 93. It's extremely light. Like, um, Madden 93 and ESPN National Hockey Night 
So it's for all 60 cents a piece. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. Um, got one GameCube game, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003. No manual, but it has the disc, so. 60 cents, I'll go with it. Um, PS2 games, got Madden 2002. Just a game I didn't have, 60 cents. MLB 2006. Yeah, complete. Um, NBA 06. I might actually play this one. Um, and, uh, Evolution Skateboarding, which I've actually wanted this game forever. I always wanted to have this game in my collection. I always wanted to play it, but I just never saw it for a good price because, um, my local playing trade, they had another copy of this for $5. Like, they've always had it, but I'm, I'm not going to pay $5 for this game. And they finally had a new copy come in, and it was only a dollar, so I picked it up. Um, it's extremely beat up. Uh, like, the case right here, you can see that it's broken. Uh, and, like, when you close it, it's pretty fucking hard to close. But, whatever, it's complete. I'll probably find another case for it. Um, these were also 60 cents. Ford Racing, just something I didn't have. And Cool Boars, cool Boars 4. Um, I just need the first one now. First one in 2001. Then two Dreamcast games. Happy to get Dreamcast games. NHL 2K. Sweet. And Jeremy... Mm, Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. Also complete. Then, um... Last one dollar one. Was, um, a Game Boy Advance game. Agassi Tennis Generation. 60 cents. And, um... These next three here were a little more expensive. Not much. Like, these two were $2 a piece. This one is Hot Shots Golf 4. Um, complete. Um, good shape. I actually won this game. I like the Hot Shots Golf game, so picked it up for 2 bucks. Not bad. And got NHL Hits 2003 for Xbox for 3 bucks. For 2 bucks, sorry. 2 bucks. Complete. Um... If you guys don't know, this game is actually worth a little bit of money. Like, it's worth, um, I believe, like, 15 to 20 dollars, which is really weird for a sports game, but the NHL Hits games, they really go for, like, the Xbox version goes for 15 to 20 dollars, the, uh, I can't pull it out because it's too high, but, uh, the GameCube version goes for, like, 10, 15 dollars, PS2 version, which I don't have, goes for around 10, so, I mean, like, those games, like, for some reason, they go for a lot of money. And this one I picked up for 3 bucks, which I think this is probably one of the best pickups this month. I mean, it's not that great of a deal, but it's just cool to have a box Game Boy Advance game. And that is Namco Museum. Uh, complete in box. 3 bucks, like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, manual. Crap. Okay. Manual and the cart. So yeah, six, I mean, not six, uh, $3 for this. It's in like mint condition with the exception of that tear right there. Which came from the sticker, which was really weird because the sticker was barely even on there. I don't know how the hell it ripped it, but whatever. Um, Three dollars. And last but not least, I went to GameStop because they were having buy two get one. So I just pick up like some fillers that I needed for the collect. I mean, this one I just picked up because I couldn't find anything else for a dollar there. Um, PS3 game and NBA 07. Don't have a PS3, but whatever. Like, and, like, yeah, it's a dollar or whatever. Got Connect Adventures. Picked this up mainly because, well, first, I don't th think I'll ever pick up a brand new Connect, which means that I won't be coming with this game, so. Um, dang it, this game comes with every Connect, so it'll probably, like, if I ever buy one, it'll probably come with this, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Cheap. I could probably resell if I get another copy anyway for. Two, three bucks. Uh, Wii games. Uh, this one was a buck. I mean, well, yeah, I think I got, yeah, yeah, I got these three together and end up being three dollars for a total. Because these two are one dollar a piece and then this one was two dollars. So, yeah, I guess I can say this was a buck. Uh, Counter Force for Wii. Pretty much any Wii game that I can find for three dollars or less, I'll pick up because I don't have many Wii games. And, I actually tried this out, it's, I know, I like, I knew there were bad, like, reviews and stuff like that, and it's actually not that, that bad, like, it's not, it's not a game that I would 
probably go back to, but it's not that bad. Um, and then these last games here, I got, they were three bucks a piece, buy two get one, ended up being like two dollars a piece after that. Got, um, um, Billy the Wizard for the Wii. Complete. Um, I don't know. I just saw it there, and I remember, like, seeing really bad reviews and stuff for this game. And, um, yeah, picked it up. I'm probably actually going to play this, believe it or not, and I can't wait to see how bad it is. And then two 360 games. I was actually going to pick up Time Shift, but they didn't have a copy at the GameStop I went to, which kind of sucked. So instead, I picked up Frontline Fuel, Fuel of War. Complete, yeah, complete. Two bucks, whatever. It's a shooter. I'm probably not going to play it, but add it to the collection. And this one I'm happy to own for two bucks. Uh, Crackdown. Yeah, complete. This fucking manual is enormous. Shit. I didn't realize that. I got free Xbox Live shit thing. What the hell is this? I didn't even look through this yet. Oh, it's a map. Oh, yeah. Crackdown 2 came from map, too. I forgot about that. So, yeah. The free 48 hour trial, man. Alright, um. Yeah. So, got the Crackdown. Great game. I mean, I enjoyed Crackdown 2, even though many people didn't. I mean, and I hear Crackdown 1 is pretty much the same game, so. That's everything I picked up. Um. Yeah, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.